80, crest into one right over crest into dip, 40, car one left over crest into long, three left, don't cut, 60, one so left over So after service crest it's back to work and the Calibre team have a lot of work to do with that 60, Toyota breathing down their necks. Crest into two left over crest, into two right maybe, into bumps three right, into crest and four left maybe, and crest into crest and four left, and crest and turn back six right. Kenny has pulled out all the stops, and he has an 11 second advantage after stage seven. Left 100, one right over crest, 80. Kerr, crest into three right, maybe. 80, four left, maybe. That's it, that's it. But boy, is Austin trying. It's a two-horse race now. Or is it? Enda Nolan isn't that far behind. And everyone knows a puncture could make all the difference. Frank is up next. And he's now three quarters of a minute down on Nolan's similar car. John Price is just 18 seconds behind. Then it's Bob Fodden, a fabulous sixth. Nesbitt, despite a puncture here, is seventh. And Bertie is closing rapidly on his old car. He's already picked up two places after his turbo problem. But stage nine is a disaster for David Greer with two punctures on this 12-mile test, and that drops him right out of contention. Pat Kirk and Paul Kiley go through in ninth place, but ahead is one of those rare accidents that everyone dreads in motorsport. Stage 10 will be cancelled because of fog, but stage 11 will also be stopped when the Kirk Metro plunges into a wall at high speed. They both survive. It's a chilling moment in a mild winter.